This is a model of the first combat submarine. Now, I say model because the original doesn't exist. All we have is a few hints and clues from subsequent writings. You've got these pedals here, so the operator is pedaling away. This is powered by pedal power, and they are driving a propeller. Along with a rudder, the turtle has all the components needed to maneuver on the surface. A particular feature of the outside of the vessel is this hatch at the top here. It's got these watertight windows, so he has got some natural light inside. Then above there are these strange-looking things are really snorkels, so that when it's above water, it's fully ventilated. Using the windows, the operator could maneuver on the surface to locate and position the turtle next to a ship. It is then ready to descend. By filling the area at the base of the vessel, known as the bilges. To do that, the operator kicks a lever. This will flood the bilges down there with water. Under the surface, a second propeller is used to lower or raise the turtle. Once submerged in darkness, the operator has only two instruments for guidance. This is a barometer. It has a little cork in it, and each of these marks on the glass tube represents a fathom. That's about six feet. So as he sees the cork bobbing down, he knows he's going down another six feet. How can he see that underwater? Because it's been covered with a fungus called foxfire, which is luminous. It glows in the dark. And over here is a compass, which again, the needle on the compass has been coated with this luminous fungus so he can read his heading. The turtle is designed to move into position, armed with a bomb to blow up its target. So assuming that we've now got to the right depth, we now need to attach the payload. And that's this crank here. This crank operates that drill at the top, and that bores its way up into the hull of a ship. The drill is attached to the bomb by a rope. Once connected, the turtle detaches itself, leaving the explosive secured to the ship. And now you've got to get out of here. So you, you pedal away. When you want to surface, you use these two hand pumps, yet more exertion to save your life, pumping away to get that water out of the bilges. But my goodness, that's a heck of a lot of work to get to that stage. 